Mr. Lock. Thank you, Cahir. Look, I wish to raise again the issue of the recent revelations about the mother and baby homes, and in particular the appointment of Judge Yvonne Murphy as the chair of the statutory inquiry into the issue. It's a most welcome appointment by the new Minister for Children, Deputy Riley. We're all aware of the judge's sterling work in relation to inquiries into clerical abuse in both the Dublin and Cloyne diocese. And I very much hope and expect that Judge Murphy will command the respect of all those involved. She has enviable experience both as a lawyer and judge and a former employee of the National Social Services Board as it then was. And I very much wish her well. It's important to note that the Minister has left it to the, to the discretion of the judge as to whether f f uh, further appointments will be required in order to assist her and I very much welcome that decision. While I recognise the inquiry is is due to commence after the summer and I don't wish to prejudice it in any way. One figure stands out in the Interdepartmental Committee report, which was also published yesterday. The committee, through the General Registrar's Office, identified 1,101 births during the operation of the home during the 36 years from 1925 to 1961. It also identified 800 deaths. And if we can reflect on those figures for a moment, that's 301 children from the 1,101 born survived that place, which is a staggering figure. And I think without prejudicing the inquiry, we might consider having a constructive debate on the interdepartmental report with the new minister, if possible before the summer recess, but if that is not possible at um, the earliest point on our return, uh, maybe the leader would arrange such a debate. Thank you. So